Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, communication, and this is the portion of the meeting where you are invited to share your thoughts with the board. Please know that this time has been set aside for the board to listen to you. Your comments are valued and will be taken into careful consideration. The board will not engage in dialogue at this time. Presentations are limited to five minutes. We did have one person sign up tonight. Uh, if you can come to the podium and state your name for the record, Michelle Saylor. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Penny will be our timekeeper. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Michelle Saylor. Um, I have three kids in the district, um, two of which are at Creekside, and one is at West. Um, I'm coming to you in regards to some busing issues. Um, I'm not sure if you, um, I know some of you are aware, um, but there is a such thing as double busing. Um, I, I don't know if you know the absolute definition of double busing, but when there is a busing, uh, a driver missing, um, these buses will double up in order to get kids to their destination. Um, in these situations, often, there are kids that are sitting in um, an unsafe manner. Um, unsafe manner being in the middle school and the high schools um, is the problem. So you've got kids that are of my size of a stature um, and or larger. I consider myself an average sized person. And they're putting three to a seat. Three to a seat of my size is not being covered by the safety barrier. The safety barrier by law is the seat back in front of them. Buses do not have seat belts on them. They aren't going to have seat belts on them. The only safety device that these kids have is that seat back in front of them. Um, I've put, I have multiple photos to show you guys that buses are rolling out from all of your schools on multiple occasions weekly, where this is a very unsafe situation and it is not abiding by the law. Um, you can't even see the aisles. Kids are literally sitting three to a seat um, and they're hanging out in the aisles. If they were to get in an accident, you would literally have bodies flying. Bodies flying so much as to, if. If they were flying, they would not only be injured, you could possibly have even worse. I've got um, this to show you guys. You can absolutely pass this around. These are on your buses. Um, very, very unsafe situations. I've talked to the state. I know the law, and it is not being abided. It is rolling out of all of, all of your schools on, bus, on double busing situations. So I've contacted transportation on multiple occasions this year. Um, I've called, I've talked to Joe, Pen Joe Penny. I have talked to um, Bill Westerbeck. I have talked to them on multiple occasions. Um, their excuse, and I know that this is a fact, is that you are understaffed. I know that there are situations where double busing um, is something that has to happen. However, there are situations where you are things that you can do that doesn't cost money and I've brought these things these ideas up to them when you're double busing and you have kids sitting three to a seat why can you not take say that there's 20 additional kids coming from that double bus why can you not take five kids and put it on one bus another five kids and put it on another bus and another five kids and put it on another bus put that on transportation you have buses that are running in close proximity in neighboring neighborhoods. This costs you nothing, absolutely nothing. And they're not doing it. To me, they're not doing their job. You have parents calling transportation and they're turning a blind eye to the safety of the kids. 
I have called, I have called, I have called. I know many, many, many parents that have called, and they're doing nothing about it. They keep on pointing fingers. They're calling the bus drivers and blaming it on them. It's on the district. It is on the district. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen, and something has got to be done. This is not OK. It's not OK. What are you guys going to do about it? Seriously. I've tried to contact you several times. There was a video recently of a school bus that, has, that was T-boned. That bus was not even full. Those kids went flying. It happened to happen here in the state of Ohio. It's, it, it's a matter of time. It, it, it really is. People do not pay attention on the road anymore. Your bus drivers are under the gun to try and get to the next stop. You've got to fix this. The safety of the kids, this is not just my kids, I'm speaking for everybody. You've got to fix it. And there are things you can do other than just wait for the hiring of the drivers. All right, well, thank you very much for your comments tonight. Um, we will make sure that someone does follow up with you. Okay. Do you want those photos back? Do you want those? Can we keep these? Okay, thank you. Okay.